how to burn a CD? Most of you are probably thinking, who is doing this in 2026? Well, we're living in a generation where services like Spotify dominate the landscape of music consumption. Now more than ever, it's not only important to consider alternative ways of enjoying your music, but also striving to preserve what once was. For me, though, convenience doesn't outweigh the nostalgia and satisfaction of creating a personal time capsule. A carefully curated CD can transport you back to the moment it was made, letting you relive the thoughts and emotions that went into selecting each song. Is the convenience of streaming really worth sacrificing the tactile experience of physical media? I don't think so. In this guide, I'll walk you through my process of ripping and downloading tracks. I'll introduce you to lesser known websites where I find the highest quality FLAC files, the software I use for burning CDs, and the type of CDR that delivers the best results. After watching this video, you will know exactly how to burn a CD from start to finish. Hello and Happy New Year. I'm Mike and welcome to Dream in Digital. Today, I'm going to reveal my personal golden blueprint to sourcing music and burning CDs and it's not a hard and fast rule. You can always modify and improve upon my process to make it your own. The first step in creating your CD is to source your content and there are a few ways to do this. If you have a huge collection of CDs, I recommend ripping your music to your PC. I did a video on how to rip your CDs on my other channel, Audio Architects. I'll throw a link down below if you wanna know how to do that specifically. By ripping CDs as WAV or FLAC files, you'll have lossless versions of your songs to burn onto a new CD. Another option is to purchase high-resolution songs online. While most marketplaces offer various quality options, CD quality is fine for burning purposes since burning onto a CD won't benefit from higher resolution. However, if you plan to stream music from a database like Plexamp or Rune and have a DAC that can handle high resolution files, then downloading the highest resolution, in my opinion, is the way to go. I always download the highest resolution because why not? Investing an extra dollar could significantly enhance my listening experience overall. My go-to marketplace for purchasing songs is Kobuz. It's both a streaming service and an online marketplace. Not to mention it has the largest catalog of high resolution songs available out there. There are a couple of other sites where you can buy high res files from like HD tracks, which I have used in the past and seven digital. I have seen sites like these start to disappear. So I would take advantage of them while they are still up and running. Once you have your songs ready to burn onto your CD, you have to find software you're comfortable with to burn your disc. I don't know about you, but I am strangely comfortable with free. I like using exact audio copy because it rips the songs from my CDs and then I can burn a CD using the same platform. However, if you're on Windows 11, you can use Windows Media Player to burn your CD. On Macs, Apple people, you can use the music app to burn a CD. CD Burner XP is another option out there that has received really positive feedback. There are other freeware options out there as well that you can look into. However, I get so pissed off with programs that offer you free downloads and then have you have to deal with a paywall. It's annoying. You'll obviously need a CD drive if you don't have one already. Most new PCs and laptops, unfortunately, do not come with optical drives anymore. So you'll probably need an external option. You're probably wondering if there are any major differences between the drives. The short answer is yes. There are, but not in the audiophilia way you might be thinking. Matching drives with specific media is the nerd gold standard, and I unfortunately don't have the time today for a tutorial on how to do this. If this is something you're all interested in in having me dive into, drop a comment below and I'll do a video. The real differences are practical. Some drives produce cleaner burns with fewer errors, fewer ruined discs, and better playback in picky players because each drive's firmware has specific write strategies for different CDR media. You want a setup that's stable and consistent at moderate burn speeds, since some drives get sloppy when you try to burn too fast or 
even at certain lower speeds. Slim laptop drives and cheap externals can be more vibration prone and power sensitive, and crappy USB ports, hubs, or enclosures can also cause problems. For reliable music CDs that play everywhere, focus on good quality discs first, use a solid full-size burner when possible, and always finalize the disc, stick to around 8x to 16x speed, and always verify the burn. Ignore audiophile claims about drives sounding better when the disc is error-free since compatibility and error rates are what actually matter. So to make things easy for you, a solid full-size burner drive with reliable power, external or internal, doesn't matter. Just make sure the enclosure and drive are of good quality. If you absolutely must, drives like these slim LG drives aren't terrible. They are fine for casual burns. They just have more ways to be annoying when you care about works everywhere, right? Audio CDs. The issues are mostly physics and power, not aesthetics. If you burn lots of discs, want high compatibility for car stereos and older CD players, and want repeatable results, a sturdier full-size setup is usually the best way to go. Now, all you need is a fresh CDR. This is where some of you might roll your eyes at me, but I use JVC Tayo Yudin CDRs for a few reasons. Tayo Yudin is known for their top-notch quality control and super advanced manufacturing processes. They're actually the pioneers of CDR technology and have been perfecting their craft over the years. What's great about these discs is that they have a lower error rate compared to other brands. That means your precious data on the discs is less likely to get messed up or become unreadable over time. Plus, they work well with all sorts of hardware, so you can be sure your burn CDs will play just fine. Another cool thing about Tayo Yudin CDRs is their longer lifespan. Most CDRs last about 10 to 25 years, but these ones are known to keep your data safe even longer. They also have this awesome high quality reflective layer that makes them more readable and less prone to errors. And when it comes to audio CDs, you definitely want that smooth, uninterrupted playback. While they might be more expensive than other brands, I'm sorry, I do find the added value worth the investment. Now, does this mean you can't use other brands? Absolutely not. CMC by Tayo Yudin makes some really nice ones with the, you see what I did there? With the same design philosophies as the original Tayos. I'll throw some links down below so you can check out both. I would like to provide a disclaimer. First of all, I'm not sponsored by Taya Yudin. Second, your choice in CDR will not affect the color of the sound. Using better discs or the discs I recommend will just yield the best reliability and compatibility. You can use whatever you feel comfortable using, do whatever you want. Most will be just fine. I'm just picky and weird and I want the best option available for me. This is my recipe after all. Insert your blank CDR into your drive. In EAC, go to the Tools menu and select Write CDR. Select the songs you want to burn onto the disc, drag and drop them into the small window that popped up. Make sure the songs you selected will fit on your disc. I can usually squeeze 15 to 18 songs on any given disc, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the length of the tracks. Once you hit Burn, the process will begin. It won't take too long. After it's finished, you can have the program spit the CD out and it's ready to play on your CD player at home, in the car, or anywhere else you decide to play the CD. Thank you for watching my friends and for showing interest in keeping the CD alive. I love the CD. I am a huge fan of physical media and will do what I can to make sure to contribute to the digital renaissance. If you like my t-shirt, the link is down below. It's my shop. If you enjoyed the video and got something from it, the best thing you can do is subscribe to my channel. It's free and it helps me grow. I would love for you to force choke the like button. I find your lack of faith disturbing. I'll see you on the next one, friends. Take care and enjoy the new year.